everybody it's me amri nuruddin and welcome back to another brand new video iq recently launched a brand new smartphone in their z series this is iq z9 as pro smartphone in the lower budget segment this smartphone has attractive design powerful and gaming chipset and also many more things in the lower budget segment this smartphone can be a very much powerful gaming chipset in 2024 if you like to purchase the smartphone then i will provide a link in the description of this video you can check it out so without wasting any more time, let's get start the video. At first, if you would like to talk about the design of this smartphone, then you can see the design of this smartphone is so much attractive. And also the thickness of this smartphone is 7.5 mm. Weight of this smartphone is 185 gram. This is the lower body segment. That is why the weight distribution will be so much comfortable. And also the back panel of this smartphone has dual camera setup. If you look at the front panel, then you will find a punch will cut out camera setup. You can first see this smartphone by only two colors. First one is flamboyant and then second one is luxury and airball. So in this lower budget segment, the design of this smartphone was so much interesting to me. What do you think about the design of this smartphone? You can inform me in comment box. Then secondly, if you would like to talk about the display of this smartphone. The smartphone has 6.77 inches AMOLED final display. Which display has full HD plus resolution. For the full HD plus resolution, whenever you will watch any kind of videos by the display, that time you will not face any kind of problem from the resolution. As well as the display is supporting 120 hours higher refresh rate. For the higher refresh rate, whenever you will play any kind of games by the display, that time this display will provide you a smooth experience. As well as the display has 4500 new speed brightness, and that is one of the powerful speed brightness in the lower budget segment. Thirdly, if I would like to talk about the camera of this smartphone, then before starting the video, I was mentioned that and the rear panel of this smartphone has dual camera setup. Their first sensor is 50 megapixel, second one is 8 megapixel all right. At the rear camera section of this smartphone, you will find OIS, that means optical image stabilization. And also at the front panel of this smartphone, here we will find only 16 megapixel wide sensor. By the rear camera, we can make a video with 4K resolution, but in the front sensor, we cannot get any kind of 4K resolution. Right now, if I would like to talk about the first features of this smartphone. The smartphone has Fantas 14 based on Android 14. As a chipset IQ used here Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Generation 3, which is 4 nanometer chipset. And you all know this is one of the powerful chipset in the lower body segment. That is why whenever you will try to play any kind of games by the smartphone, the time this smartphone can give you a strong performance at the gaming sector. You can first use this smartphone by only 3 billion. First one is 8GB RAM and 128GB internal storage as well as 8GB RAM, 256GB internal storage and the last one is 12GB RAM and 256GB internal storage. Here you can use only two SIM cards but you cannot use any kind of macro SD card slot. As well as the storage type of this smartphone is UFS 2.2. In this budget segment, this smartphone should have to support dedicated macro SD card slot. Last part of this smartphone, which is battery. As the battery IQ used here 5500 mAh battery. If you would like to charge the battery, then company will provide you 80 watt first charger. And IQ mentioned that if you would like to charge your battery 0% to 50%, then it will took only 21 minutes. As well as the smartphone is supporting 7.5 watt reverse wireless system. That means you can charge any kind of device from this smartphone by 7.5 watt charger. As a feature, the smartphone has under display fingerprint, Bluetooth, and everything. But here you cannot see any kind of 3.5 mm audio jack and NFC features. So in this budget segment, this is one of the powerful gaming circuit and also attractive design. If you like to purchase a smartphone, then I will provide a link in the description or comment box. You can check it out. Yeah, that's for today. See you next time.